Hello and namaste. My name is Brandon Foltz, and I teach statistics and other mathy things here on YouTube. If you like this video, please subscribe and ring that bell for more. In this problem walkthrough video, we will review linear equations to prepare you for linear regression. Now, I know your time is valuable, so let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so is the equation y equals 10 plus 5x minus 3x squared linear? Why or why not? Well, in this case, no, it is definitely not. And why is that? Well, we have the squared term right here, right there. So the squared term is gonna turn this into a curve, kind of like we see down here at the bottom. In a linear equation, we are never gonna have anything that is squared or higher, say cubed or whatever else it might be. So as soon as you see that squared term, you know it's not linear. So which of the following equations based on that are linear? Well, if we look at our equations here and follow our rule, we can see that y equals 6x plus 8 doesn't have any squared terms or anything in there. So this is linear. So for b, we have y plus 7 equals 3x. Now, we could leave it like this, or we could rearrange it in a form that we're comfortable with. So y plus 7 equals 3x. Let's say we want to get y by itself, isolate y. So we would subtract 7 from both sides. So that would subtract out, and then we would have y equals negative seven plus three x. So we don't have anything squared there, and this is a linear equation. Now what about y minus x equals eight x squared? Well in this case, no, this is not a linear equation at all. As soon as we see that squared term there, we know that it's not going to be a straight line. So what about 4y equals 8? Well, in this case, we can go ahead and simplify this a little bit. I'm going to move this over here. So 4y equals 8. Let's get y by itself. So we'll divide by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So we're left with y equals 8 divided by 4, which is 2. So y equals 2. Now, this is a special type of equation. Yes, this is linear, but what type of special linear equation is this? Well, what this is telling us is that at every point on our graph, y is two. So how would we represent that visually? Well, if this is our y-axis and this is two, what this is saying is that no matter where we go on the x-axis, that we're always gonna be at y equals two. So this will have a horizontal line. And that is this right here. So yes, this is a linear equation. And then finally, does the graph below show a linear equation? And hopefully by now, you will know by looking at this that this is not a linear equation. The most important reason is obviously visually it's not a line, but also the slope changes on this type of curvilinear line. So at the very bottom here, if we draw a line that's called a tangent line, a tangent line is a line that just bumps up right against a curve like this. The tangent line here, the slope of this line is actually zero. And there's you know some basic calculus you could do to figure that out, but we're not, obviously not going into that. If we go somewhere else on this curve, the slope obviously changes. So at this point, the slope of this line is probably something like this. If I go up further, the slope of that tangent lines like that. So the slope is changing, where in a linear equation, the slope is constant. So in these equations up here, we could figure that out. In this horizontal line, this blue line, what is the slope? Well, the slope here is zero. Okay, so M equals zero. And actually, if we were to rewrite this, go back to my blue, this equation right here, Y equals two, is actually y equals two plus zero x. Why is that? Well, the slope is zero, but zero times x, of course, zero times anything is zero, so you're left with just y equals two. So a horizontal line has a slope of zero. And in regression, that is very, very 
very important because when we get to more advanced things in regression, you will realize that what's called the null hypothesis in regression is that the slope of our line is zero. That's very important to know. And finally, while we're here, I'll just sort of review for you, reiterate for you that the other type of line, which of course would be a vertical line, something like this. Remember the slope of a vertical line is not zero. The slope of a vertical line is undefined. Undefined. Because think of like laying something flat on something else. So here we could lay like something flat. I could lay my pencil easily on the desk. It's a slope of zero. I could have, you know, my pencil follow the curve of something around the edge. But if I were to try to stand my pencil right up on its tip here on my desk, it's always going to fall over. You know, it's just going to fall over because there's no real slope there. There's like a infinitely small point at the top of this arrow where there is no slope. So the slope of a horizontal line is zero. Anything with a squared term or a higher power term is not going to be linear. That's because the slope is not constant. The slope changes like we see down here in the red. And then finally, a vertical line is an undefined slope. So it's very important to keep those in mind when you're dealing with linear equations. Okay, so that wraps up this video. Before you go, please check out some of the other content I have here on my channel. That being said, I appreciate you spending some of your valuable time with me. I wish you all the best in your work and in your studies, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.